Uh, Boas, we is the 23rd day of November, 10.36 a.m. Not a cloud in the sky. This is a 10 day for weather, boys. Virtually no wind or a light breeze, and it's warm. I ain't even got a cold on, but I have got two heavier thermals I'm wearing. We're going to try it in here. I wouldn't promise a max bag limit out of here, but you just never know. There's a high chance I could get set up on some longer rain shots today, which would suit me just fine. I got this old laser with me and a set of binoculars. I am wearing fluorescent orange hat and vest. Yeah, boys. 1045, 143 yards right through there is a gray square. I can't shoot him from here, though, I don't believe. He's one of the bigger walnut tree to the right. See that big walnut tree right there? Center of the camera. He's going up there. Seen him in the seen him with my naked eye. But I put the binoculars on him and seen him, you know, he is a gray squirrel. See what we can do here. Let's see this gray squirrel here if I can get him. He's going to one of them trees. He come out in that field right there. He was 68 yards, but he's farther than that now. See, I don't usually see squirrels here. That's a little lesson for you. When the conditions are real good, these old squirrels will travel. They'll take chances. So they won't stay close to them den trees. Let's see if you see this fox squirrel up here. Look at the fox squirrel. Right through there. Maybe you can see him in that camera up there. In there. And look through that squirrel there with my rifle scope. Boy, that's a gray squirrel. He's wore the ground out, too. Hey, boy, squirrel number one. Got that old head busted. Let's see what else we can do here. It's early. I don't exaggerate, that's not a long shot. You might hear them teeth in this camera. I think that's their old den there, that old snag there. He's got a big old hole in his bone. More than one. Like it was a gray squirrel up there. Maybe you see him in this camera here. Get no shot at that gray squirrel. He's went down in this ravine here, a trench like. And there's some cattle over there. I could have shot him down low. That wouldn't be too smart. But he may be trying to get back up to the left over there in that trench, back to them woods. So we're going to go pick his fox club and watch for him. He's got that Belgian eye. You know what that means. He felt the wrath of that gun at 33 hours ago. Where they wore the ground out 30, 31, 32 yards. Not too far. He moved that walnut. He won't eat another one, though. A little head bested there. Squirrel number three, boys. That's a good eating squirrel right there. That's not very old. I've heard another one bark back up in here. These woods are rough. I may circle around. I've got an old cow up here, but here up there. Oh, black He's up there. Check out that coon up there, Bo. You see him in that cabin? He's up there. He's up there as a big old fox squirrel. Coon. He's right there. I think I've got this camera on me. Good boy, the 
the one up here about 64 or 5 yards in the weed. I shot him one handed. I might be shooting this gun better one handed than I am two handed on this rest right here. There's another one barking. I wonder if he'll get up above them cedars and let me see him. I thought I seen him. I believe I hit shot the squirrel there. He flopped two or three feet up higher. Here he barking up there. Probably ain't gonna get a show this one in the camera. It's gonna be tough to get him. Boys, we got him. You know, I kept awake. This old tall shooting stick pays off in these situations right here. He kept a hunting me and he went up the top of that tree right there because he couldn't see me behind that cedar. <coughs> Let's see if I can find this one here. I'm shot in the weeds up here. He did a lot of somersaults, I can tell you that. Squirrel there's a link around with him there, some of that last one. Okay, here's the last squirrel I shot. Now he wasn't that far. He got that old head missed his steep. I ain't gonna shoot him. This squirrel here was closer to 70 or 71 yards. Shot him one handed, boy. When I can't get my left shoulder turned right, I'm better off to shoot this gun one handed than to try to force the shot, you know. It helps me a little bit. And you know, when I first lasered this squirrel, he's 65. When he come on back here and got on this old treetop here, which is about five yards behind. That little thing sticking out right yonder. All right, boys, today's harvest is four gray squirrels and one fox squirrel. All head bisted. Longest shot was right at close to 70 yards. It could have been 71, it could have been 69. I didn't see a lot of squirrels, but the squirrels I seen were really traveling. I seen some squirrels go visit and then run back up on the ridge. They didn't go down to eat, they went down to visit. Socialize. It was nice and warm today.